Hello everyone, my name is uh, Martin Klaas and, and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Light Talk. In my previous uh, podcast, I spoke about um, a little project that we did in Fremantle, in the back of the Manning building, uh, just behind uh, High Street, a uh, little courtyard and passageway uh, that we designed in terms of lighting. It was recently commissioned. Um, and I spoke in that episode about uh, our design approach, what we did to make it uh, look the way it does. Um, in this episode, I want to follow up a little bit and talk about the challenges that we faced. Because uh, designing looks always simple, but uh, there's always a number of hurdles to overcome. And even in a small project like this, um, you'd be surprised how many challenges uh, you have. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of them, just to give you an idea of um, what we face, even if the project is not that big. The first challenge we had really is the discrepancy between what we had on drawings and what came out in reality. And I think that's a challenge that you always have in any project, small or big. Uh, but in this particular one, it uh, was quite uh, um, typical that um, we, we designed around a certain layout of benches, a certain locations of trees, and uh, when we came to site and they were actually implementing it, it was totally different. Um, that always happens, certainly when landscape is concerned, because um, when, you know, when you go to the nursery and select the trees, you don't know how big they're going to be, and once you see them in the space, they may be positioned somewhere else. So we always knew that uh, landscape would be a bit different. We also sort of anticipated that, that um, the location of the benches may change a little bit. Um, but in the end, um, you know, once you design it properly, you can anticipate that. So for instance, for the landscape, um, we provided the power points with junction boxes. We knew where uh, we needed the power to go, um, so the conduits could be laid. And only once we knew where the trees were, we went to side and we packed the locations to make sure that we had the, the tree uplights and all that in the right uh, position. Um, so that was, that was uh, yeah, that's a challenge that we always face in, in every project, that um, the reality when people start implementing things on site uh, is not always the same. Uh, as what you have been drawing for on plans. Um, so that was the, the first challenge. Um, it was, in the end, not that challenging or th that difficult to overcome, but it's one of the things that we always face in any project. Um, the second challenge was um, the actual implementation and concealment of the light. Um, we had great ideas on how to conceal the light in the benches, for instance. Uh, we had a groove planned and we had made all the detailing and the dimensions uh, had been worked out and passed on to the landscape uh, architect. Um, but when they, they actually fabricated those uh, steel and timber benches, um, for some reason, uh, there was no location for us to put the lights. So when we were faced with that on site, we had to find alternative ways to conceal the cabling coming up into the bench. Uh, we had to create an additional surface mounted channel underneath the bench to, to hide the light. Um, in the end, when you come there, you don't really see it, um, but we know, we can see, we know that it uh, could have done even better. Uh, it's still concealed, mostly out of sight, um, and I think that um, is testament to, to the coordination we have with the contractor. Uh, but it's something that uh, we need to be prepared uh, for in, in every project. It's always a bit more difficult than you think. There's always surprises somewhere along the way when you come to site. So that challenge um, was uh, certainly um, uh, one that um, we had to, to overcome. Uh, in the end, it came out nice, luckily. Uh, and the third uh, challenge that I want to highlight is also a typical challenge for every project, is the one about budget and time. In this one particularly, because we were faced uh, halfway in the design uh, with an upcoming pandemic, uh, COVID-19 was raging, uh, and uh, it meant basically that we would have difficulties in sourcing any light fixtures from overseas. Uh, we may have been um, impacted by uh, time, supply lines, etc. So right from the beginning, we, we focused on uh, getting um, the lights locally. Um, we worked straight away right from the start with a supplier uh, that had already been involved with the project in earlier stages. Um, and um, we set out to, to find uh, light fixtures that uh, were of the sort of quality that we wanted, the sort of performances that we wanted, and uh, made sure that um, the lighting effects were as we hoped they would be. Uh, we did a lot of uh, visual testing, 
uh, installed samples to make sure it worked all well. Even in a small project like that, we did the sample testing, the visual mockups, and all that to make sure that it worked out, out uh, well. Um, but that was quite a, a heavy involvement with the supplier and the contractor to make sure that we could get the lights in time, um, that we could uh, also supply them within the budget that was allocated to us. And uh, it was not a high budget. In the end, uh, when we see the result now, we are, we are quite uh, satisfied, so we are quite happy. It looks all fantastic, uh, but um, you don't always know how much sweat and tears go into it before you reach any result like that.